Today we're going to talk more about the normal distribution. We've already discussed it a bit with the 68.95.99.7 rule. It says, as we begin to create a better picture of the way data are dispersed, we realize that in many instances, the shape of the data falls into one of a few recognizable forms. For instance, if we took a large sample of men's heights, a histogram built with the data would look approximately symmetrical and bell-shaped. With a large enough sample, our histogram would become what we call the normal distribution. A normal distribution is bell-shaped, meaning it has only one mode at the center, and it's symmetrical. The mean, median, and mode are all the same, or in a sample, approximately the same. The total area under the curve is equal to 1. 100% of the data falls beneath the curve. It's completely defined by its mean and standard deviation. So we talk, when we talked about the 68, 99.7 rule, we talked about the data being one, two, or three standard deviations from the mean. Well, unfortunately, data isn't always going to fall exactly one, two, or three standard deviations from the mean. It might be somewhere in between. So we have to use something called the Z-score. And the Z-score tells us how many standard deviations a particular piece of data lies from the mean. The Z-score is found by taking the particular data value, subtracting the mean, and dividing by the standard deviation. So for a population, it would be X minus mu divided by sigma. And for a sample, it would be X minus X hat divided by S. Both are basically the same thing. Example one wants us to calculate Z-scores. So given that the heights of Canadian women are normally distributed with a mean of 159.5 and centimeters and a standard deviation of 1.7 centimeters, calculate the z-scores for the following pieces of data. So a height of 148.2 centimeters, we would take 148.2, subtract the mean of 159.5, and divide by the standard deviation 7.1. We get negative 11.3 divided by 7.1, or approximately 1.59. So we say that this, we don't really use the negative when we talk about it. We say that this data point is 1.59 standard deviations below the mean. So this person is shorter than average, basically. Okay, so a height of 160.3 centimeters, we would subtract our mean and divide by the standard deviation and get approximately 0.11. So we are 0.11 standard deviations above, since it's positive, the mean. This person is slightly taller than average. And a height of 1.7 meters, well, first of all, we gotta change that to centimeters and there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So be careful with this. Everything else is in centimeters. We gotta make sure that our data value is also in centimeters. So that's 170 centimeters. Subtract the mean, oops. 
divide by the standard deviation. 1.48. This person's height is 1.48 standard deviations above the mean. So definitely taller than average. Example two, suppose that the average caloric intake for women is 2,050 calories per day with a standard deviation of 175 calories. If we assume that the caloric intake follows a normal distribution, find the percentage of females in your class that consume more than 2,000 calories per day. So, we'll take, we need, first need to find the z-score. So, 2,000 minus our mean, which was 2,050, divide by the standard deviation of 175, and we get negative 0.29. Now, we... We're trying to find the percentage of females that consume more than 2,000 calories per day. We want a percent. All we've got is the z-score. Now, if you've got a graphing calculator, you can do this on the graphing calculator. I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel because all of us have access to Excel. And I'll add on to the video here. This is the only the last example for, for this section. So I'll add on um, just what it looks like in Excel to the end of the video. But here's what you would type. You type norm.s.dist. Oh, D-I-S-T. So write that down. Equals N-O-R-M dot S dot D-I-S-T. Then you put in your Z-score. In this case, negative 0 0.29. So anytime you need to find a percentile, you're going to use this right here. But in our particular case, it's negative 0.29. And then we type true comma true now what does the true do the true always write this down please so you'll know always reports to the left of the z-score so it's going to report that the percentile we get is greater than everything else, okay? So what we get when we put this into Excel is 0 0.3859. So we'll say that 38.59% of these women consume less than, remember I said to the left, less than 2,000 calories per day. So what we've found is how many consumed less than. The problem asks us to find the percentage that consume more than 2,000 calories per day. So all we got to do to find the more than is subtract 0.3859 from 1. 0.6141 or 61.4% of females consume more than 2,000 calories per day. Okay, 
So here's the process again. Put this in Excel. After you've found the Z-score, put that in Excel with your Z-score. Realize that that's telling you the percent less than and subtract from one if you need the more than. And all of this is, actually, I even put that equals, that norm.s.dist in your notes there. So, that's good. And pointed out that to find to the right, you subtract from 1. Okay, so let's look this at this on Excel real quick. To an Excel, if we wanted to use Excel to find the Z-score, that's pretty simple. So, we'd say equals parenthesis. And we had 2,000 minus 2050. We have to put the top in parentheses, so we're opening and closing there. Then divided by 175. That gives us our z-score. Okay. And so to do to find the percentile. we type in our letters. So equals norm dot s dot d i s t and I've got it in lower case but it doesn't matter. Excel knows what I'm talking about and it tells you what to put in there. It says put in the z-score so we'll select on that comma and like I said you just put true. Close parenthesis hit equal, and there is your percentile. Remember I said that was to the left though. So if we want to the right, then we would just say equals one minus, select that cell, there we go. That was our percentage to the right, 61.24% of females consume more than 2,000 calories per day.